Hey what's up everyone, Zero Defects here, in this video I am going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial for Windows 10 and 11 that will help speed up your computer's performance and clear out any unwanted junk that is not necessarily needed. So let's get started. So first off, we are going to simply clear all the cache and junk that has been building up over time. So on your keyboard, hold down the Windows key, and then we simply press the R key, this will bring up the Run window. So once you have the Run window open, click the left mouse button inside the text entry box next to where it says Open, and then you type in the word, Prefetch, then click on OK. Now if a little permission request window pops up, just click on Continue. Then next, the Prefetch folder should now open up where we can see a whole bunch of files that we need to delete to help clear out unnecessary junk. Now press and hold down the control key on your keyboard and press the letter A. This will highlight all the files in the folder. So once all your files are highlighted, just press the delete key, but don't worry it is totally safe. If for whatever reason some files are left behind, you will get a pop-up window asking you to skip these files. Just simply tick the box where it says, do this to all current items, and then click on the skip button. You can ignore these files as they are currently being used. At times you may be able to select each individual file and delete them, and some will actually get deleted but most of the time they will not, so we can ignore them. So next, close down the prefetch window as this step is done. Next we are going to hold down the Windows key again and press the letter R to bring up the Run window. Click in the text entry box like we did earlier, and this time we need to type in the word temp, then click on OK. This will now open up the temp folder. Now all we do here is the exact same as we did in the last step, by holding down the control key and then pressing the letter A to highlight all the files and then hitting the delete key to delete them all. Now again some files may not get deleted, so again this is fine. Just simply tick the box where it says, do this to all current items, and then click on the skip button. Now you can individually try and delete some files. Some may delete, but in most cases they won't, because these are currently being used. Again deleting these files are safe. So don't worry if you're unsure about deleting files you don't know about. These are simply temporary files, or temp files. These refer to files that Windows or apps need to store momentarily, after which they are no longer useful or needed. Some of these files can be leftover files from uninstalled or updated programs, and files from old Windows installations, errors, and upgrade logs among other junk. So now, just close down the temp window as we are finished with this step. Next. We are going to hold down the Windows key again and press the letter R to bring up the Run window. Click on the text box entry just like we did earlier, and this time we need to type in the percentage symbol by holding down the Shift key and pressing the number 5 on your keyboard, then type in the word, temp, and then end it with another percentage symbol, then click on OK. This will now open up a different temp folder in another location. Now all we do is repeat the steps as we did in the last section. By holding down the Control key and press the letter A, to highlight all the files, and then hitting the delete key to delete them all. If for whatever reason some files are left behind, you will get a pop-up window asking you to skip these files. Just simply tick the box where it says, do this to all current items, and then click on the skip button. So again this is fine. You can individually try and delete some files, but most of the time they won't, because they are currently being used. Again deleting these files are safe, and by doing what we have done in the last few steps, this will free up some memory space, and also increase your computer's performance. So now we just close down the temp window as we are finished with this step. Next, we are going to hold down the Windows key again and press the letter R key to bring up the Run window. Again we click on the text entry box like we did earlier, and this time we need to type in the word, clean, MGR, then click on OK. This time you should see a disk cleanup window where we can select which hard drive to clean. So in the drop down box, if it's not selected already, Click on your computer's main hard drive, which in most cases will be drive C. This step only needs to be where your operating system is installed, so once your computer's hard drive has been selected, go ahead and click on OK. You should now see a list of files that we need to delete. If you see any of the tick boxes that are unticked, go ahead and tick every single box that isn't yet ticked. You may need to scroll up and down the list to tick the boxes that are not visible. Now again it is totally safe to delete these files, now just click on OK, then click on Delete Files. All this is doing is clearing a whole bunch of junk that is filling up space and slowing down your computer, as more and more files are building up constantly.
Now finally, we are going to clear the RAM's cache, but first, what we need to look at and see just how much of the cache is currently being used. So right-click the mouse button on the Windows Start icon at the bottom of your screen, which will bring up a pop-up menu, then select the option, Task Manager. Once the Task Manager window appears, click on the Performance option down the left side of the screen. If not already, make sure that you are in the Memory option in the list. Now if you look down along the bottom of the window, we can see that there is a massive 3.3 GB of cache is being used up. So we need to clear this which will then bring it down quite a lot, which we are talking only megabytes. Now keep this window open as I will show you that the RAM has been cleared in real time. Now we need to now download some free software that will clear the RAM instantly for you. The software that we will be using is called RAM Map, but you can trust this software because it is a Microsoft product. The link can be found in the description below the video which will take you straight to the file, it is only a small file, so it will be downloaded instantly. All you have to do is click where it says Download RAM Map. Once the file is downloaded, we need to extract the files from the downloaded zip file. This is done by right-clicking the mouse on the zip file and selecting Extract All, then click on Extract. Once done, you should have a folder with just a couple of files in it. The file that we need to open is the one labeled RAMMAP.exe, which should be the largest file size. Once you open the file, a small window will appear. You can place the Task Manager window and the RAM Map window side by side, so that we can see the RAM cache being reduced when we do the next step. Now in the RAM Map window, head up to the menu along the top under the subheading that is labeled Empty, then simply select the option that is labeled Empty Standby List. After doing this, it will clear the RAM's cache instantly, which we can see in the Task Manager window which you can clearly see. And now we are all done. So now we can close both the windows down, and that's it. Then we have successfully cleaned out all the temporary junk from various junk folders and also reduced the RAM's cache which will now free up some memory and your computer should run like new. If this has helped you speed up the performance on your computer, I would like to hear from everyone and to let me know how it is all going for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, over and out.